Hello again everyone, it's Miss Holzbauer here getting ready to show you how to set up the third graph on your checklist. The second one would be done like the first one, just simply using your data for your second metal. Now this graph is going to be slightly different in that instead of having our data sets be based on the strength of the response, we're going to compare two different metals. So I'm going to double click data set and I'm going to type in copper. So this is going to be my data set for the first metal. We still manipulated the same variable, so I'm still looking at concentration. And our units were still parts per million or ppm. Okay. This time, however, when I double click and label, my y-axis is not going to be how many worms responded, but the average response of worms based on our converting the response to a numerical value. So like before, our concentrations are powers of 10. Um, I'm going to take us back to the exact same data table and this time we are going to take a look for our average responses. So this is the group that we are looking at. I see that I have a response of 2, which is fully strong, 1.5, 1, 0.75, 1, and 0.25 for these concentrations. So 2, 1.75, double check here, 1.5, I'm sorry, one point seven five and 0.25. Okay. As before, you'll notice that they are kind of bunching together here because of our difference in scale. Um, this time what I'm going to do is go to data, new data set right away, and we're going to label that our sink. Okay. I think when I copied this, I did not relabel this correctly. So we have 1.5, 1, 0.75, 0.25, and 0. Got to put in our concentrations again. And to double check, 1.51, 0 0.75, 0 0.25, and 0. Now, we want to go in and make a lot of our adjustments. Notice I put these in first, so we'll be able to do a lot of our button clicking. Right click, graph options. We want our legend. We don't need a bar graph this time. We're going to leave it as the dots. My title, average response of worms to differing concentrations. Of metals. Axes options, I want to make that one show up. Click on my Y axis option. Again, our highest is 2, so we could set the top to 3. Our log axis, so that we have our powers of 10 equally spaced. And again, rule of thumb, start with 0.1 and 10,000 from left to right, and we can adjust as needed later. So here we see a general typical trend in the same direction, but notice that the zinc is showing overall lower concentration results, lower responses to the same concentrations than the copper does in this case. So the data I was using was just data that I used to show you how to do this. Obviously, you guys should use your data that you personally came up with. But again, this would be an acceptable graph for taking a look at that. If we want to see this part a little more clearly, we could simply just scoot that over a little bit so that that data would show. And I could also move this up a bit so that we can see that entire point right here. Okay, so here we have our data showing our two sets looking at average response of the worms to the different metals that you tested. 